My name is Liam Hannan and I'm the General Manager for the Manchester Central Food Bank. We're a charity that is, as the name may suggest, based in the centre of Manchester and we provide emergency food and relief to people who are in crisis. I've been the General Manager since April last year, but I started volunteering with the Food Bank in October when I graduated from a Masters and I was then taken on as the Operations Manager to do capacity building work between October and April. So I'm very much a jack of all trades at the minute. I build relationships with the people who want to support us, and that's businesses, universities, charities and churches. I recruit and manage the volunteers to make sure that everything that we need to do to run a charity happens. And I also try and make sure that I support the governance team, who again, most of them are students, and we need to make sure that they understand duties of legal and fiscal compliance so that we can keep running. Because if we don't work within the law, we get shut down, and rightly so. The Food Bank opened its doors on the 1st of October 2013. Um, as you know, these things take a little bit of time and if you're wanting to be historical about it, we would make the argument that we actually started towards the end of the academic year 2012-13. We grew out of a project, the St Vincent de Paul Society that works in Catholic chaplaincy, and they used to do soup runs going into the city centre, obviously providing soup and sandwiches to people who were street homeless. They noticed that there was an increasing number of people kind of needing this extra support. And when they did a little investigation, they came up with the idea that we should establish a food bank here. Because it was moving from their traditional role, which was supporting people who live on the streets, to seeing people who weren't necessarily street homeless, but were in desperate crisis for whatever reason, who just needed food because they weren't able to afford feeding themselves. The food bank is a community in action. I don't like to think of the food bank as being a building or an institution, because it's not. Food banks are people from the local town, the local village, the local city, whatever, coming in and saying we want to do something about the crisis that our neighbours are in. What they're doing that's extraordinary is they are galvanising everyone around them to start donating food, to start thinking about taking care of everyone in the community. Then they take that, they collate it, and then they work with frontline care professionals to deliver it to the people who are in most desperate need. In your standard food box, we try and give out as much balance and nutrition as we can. And we always say that every food parcel comes in provides three days food for the entire household plus breakfast on the fourth day. If you take, for example, a standard single person, they would come in, the food parcel would weigh about 10 kilograms, that's maybe four large bags of shopping food. But that would include about 500 grams of pasta, there would be either tea or coffee, there would be a pack of biscuits, there would be cereal, there would be milk, there would be fruit juice. So you can make proper meals out of this stuff. Kind of grown from the stage of feeding maybe six, seven people a week to feeding about 60 or 70 now. 